Uh, just happy to be here. It's a great ballpark, tremendous baseball environment, and uh, from what we've seen in a short period of time, it's a it's a great fan base with um, very kind people that love the Razorbacks. So we're happy to be here. Alex Sawyer, go ahead and start us off. Yeah, Coach, we, we talked about this after Friday's game in Ruston, but Reed Johnson has been really consistent for you guys, both from a result standpoint, but also pitching deep into ball games, kind of setting the tone for the weekend and also kind of allowing you to conserve the bullpen and have that available. Just how important has that been for you guys all season? And then especially, you know, heading into a series with a really good Arkansas team, how important will that be, assuming he goes tomorrow night? Yeah, he's going tomorrow night, but it's just, um, yeah, he's been doing that for a long time and uh, very steady, uh, non-emotional uh, pitcher who competes very well. You might not see it outwardly as much sometimes, but uh, great competitive uh, spirit. And uh, he, uh, he, he probably uh, has the makeup of most of our guys on his team. Matt Jones, go ahead. I think by my count, you and Dave Van Horn have coached about 3,500 games between the two of you, but you've never coached against each other. What do you know about him? Uh, have your paths ever crossed uh, in recruiting or USA Baseball, in, anywhere like that? Yeah, we, great coach. Uh, I've been a part of USA Baseball for a long time, including coaching the national team this year. Uh, matter of fact, uh, Robert Morris is coming with our team this year. and uh, But uh, had a great career. and. Uh, yeah, we've both been around a long time and uh, looking forward to coaching against him. Andrew Schnicker, go ahead. Elliot, obviously uh, Arkansas has probably one of the uh, pitcher this year who's probably put up one of the best performances in the history of college baseball in Kevin Copps. What have you guys looked at with him and what are going to be kind of some of the unique challenges of facing a guy like that who comes out of the bullpen but really is capable of pitching any part of the game for them? Well, yeah, it's kind of gotten um, so much publicity lately what he has done for this team all year. But as we get to the postseason, it becomes more recognizable and uh, and, and gets more attention. And what he's done has been unbelievably uh, amazing. But you can't look at a ball club you're going to play in the postseason and look at one player. They got a great ball club. They got a lot of good pitchers. And uh, this isn't just going to be against Kevin Copps. This is going to be against a great Ar Arkansas team. And uh, – but yeah, he's he's one of many good players on this team. Tom, go ahead. For those of us who don't cover you uh, on a regular basis, Coach, what has been uh, what what keyed your turnaround, and why are y'all hot right now? You know, I don't know if there was a turnaround. To be honest with you, we got off to a rough start. We understand that, but you know, like the SEC, we have a good league. Everybody's good, and we started conference play probably before we were ready to start conference play. Georgia Tech came in extremely hot and played a great weekend. And uh, then we had a good series against Miami, but they got the best of us. And Louisville was just hot as fire when they came to Raleigh. And we started really playing good against Louisville and uh, have played good ever since. And it's just, it's just one quite ready to open the season. But what our guys have done since then after a one and eight start with three home series has been such a remarkable um, thing for me to witness. And I've been here a long time and seen a lot of games and, what this team has done has truly been amazing to me. Coach, Arkansas is hitting 269, uh, not, not just tearing it up, but what do you make of their, their lineup? Oh, it's, a, it's a good lineup, very good lineup. We, uh, you know, we've been watching film ever since we, we, it was determined we were going to play Arkansas, and they got a good lineup all the way through. A lot of power, uh, a lot of home runs, and uh, different guys just like our team can do it on different days. Jared, go ahead. Elliot, this is very much off topic, but nine years ago, you guys essentially adopted a kid, brought him into your dugout, and you went to a Super Regional. Uh, that same kid is now a student manager for your team. Uh, if you can kind of just go through the relationship that you've built with Harrison McKinnon and just what he has meant to y'all, because it's clearly a bond that runs very deep between you and his family. Yeah, a very special relationship, not only with Harrison, but his whole family. He overcame unbelievable odds. He wasn't going to make it, as you said. Years ago, about Christmas time, I started my relationship with him, and uh, it's just been a remarkable turnaround, and now he's in college going to NC State, and 
one of the managers on our club, and it's just uh, it's uh, just uh, very very rewarding to see where he is in his life right now and what he has overcome. Did you ever know uh, that it would come full circle like that? Excuse me. Did you ever think that it would come full circle like that, where he was in the dugout as a kid and he'd be coming back your way? No, I don't think you ever. You, you never envisioned those things, but uh, it's it's really great to see. Bob, go ahead. Hey, coach, how you doing? Um, you got a, a ball player, uh, Terrell Tatum, on your team, whose dad played football here at Arkansas. Just wondering, and it looked like he had a pretty good uh, regional at, at Ruston. What kind of season has he had for you, and just what do you think of him as a player? Well, since he's standing right in front of me, I'm going to have to tell you a bunch of great things about Terrell Tatum, but uh, you're going to be talking to him next. And uh, he not only had a great regional, he has a great, he's had a great year for us. Tremendous person with an unbelievable amount of ability. He, uh, when you're a scout and you see players like Terrell Tatum, it's kind of eye-popping tools and uh, he can do it all, but uh, it's uh, it's more about getting to know Terrell and his character and his makeup and how he's pushed himself this season to become one of the top players uh, in the country. Claire, go ahead. Uh, yeah, hey coach, I'm sure you've seen and heard what it's like to play in bomb. Um, have you ever played in a stadium like that? And how do you prepare the team for that type of crowd? I don't think you ever prepare anything like that, you know, and as hard as you could try to prepare, you can't really do it. So it comes down to the players. Um, our players have overcome a lot of things, you know, playing in front of no, pe no people, I think is the hardest thing for a baseball player to do. And we went through that with the COVID, you know, last year at the end and uh, the beginning of this season. So playing in front of no fans is the hardest thing to do, but uh, all baseball players, all players want to play in front of crowds. Uh, and uh, you'd rather have them pull them for you than against you, but you still want the crowd there. So I think it's going to be something they're uh, going to look forward to. And uh, sure, there'll be some jitters early, but you got to settle into the game. And that's why the maturity of our team and, and uh, the leadership of our team will uh, hopefully take over there. Hutch, go ahead. I'm good. Everything I had has been asked. Anybody else for coach? I, 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 I got one. Okay, Bob, go ahead. Okay. Hey, Coach, sorry. Hey, uh, Casey Opitz, Arkansas's catcher, he's known for being a really good defender, good arm. He's, he's played on Team USA uh, before, and I know you guys steal a lot of bases. Um, what, do you, what, what are you seeing from him on the scouting report and uh, maybe his, his abilities behind the plate? Tremendous catcher. He, uh, he epitomizes the word catcher, um, and uh, – he uh, he's really good. Certainly one of the best defensive catchers in the country, and that's always a plus when you got a complete ball club like Arkansas. You're never going to be successful without somebody behind the plate that does his job, and he more than does his job back there. So he uh, uh, it's um, he's just another one of the components that make Arkansas um, not only one of the best teams in the country, but a lot of people consider them, consider them the best team in the country. 